Your thought is what creates. Your thought or focus is what activates the vibration that law of attraction responds to. Your emotions do not create. Your emotions are your indicator of what you are creating. And so as you decide that your emotions are your best friend and you begin to say today, no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm doing it with, it is my dominant intent to look for things that feel good when I see them. You did not say as you came forth into your physical experience, I'll go forth and I'll find the problems and I'll push them away. Because from that vantage point, you understood that this is a universe that is based upon attraction. It's based upon inclusion. There's no such thing as no in an inclusion based universe. When you see something you want and you say yes to it, you include it in your vibration. It's like saying, come to me, this thing I want. But when you see something you don't want and you shout no at it, it's like saying, come to me, this thing I do not want. You have a war against drugs and a war against AIDS and a war against cancer and a war against poverty and a war against terrorism. And all of them are getting bigger because when you try to push away something, it doesn't go away. All that happens is you activate it in your vibration and then you use it as your excuse to not go with who you are. So when you see something unwanted like cancer or terrorism, it causes you to ask for something better. It causes you to ask for a more peaceful world or a world where more are honored and appreciated or a world where more ideas are allowed a world, the world that you intended where the diversity is your strength, not your weakness. And so as you ask for that, and then you continue to push against the opposite of it, you don't let yourself have that, you see.